Today I'm gonna play Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly. This is the PS2 version. I, I don't think I'm gonna play very far into yeah. this. I just basically have a story to tell about it. And once I get that and maybe see a ghost, that'll probably be it. Man, way to fall, idiot. Mayu and Mio. Mayu? Where are you going, idiot? She's like my my cat that's when he sees a red dot. Did you see her all duck walking? Ah. That's why you're always tripping and twisting your ankles, Japanese anime girls, because you run like freaking dumbasses. <laughs> That's a frighten. The crazy thing about Fatal Frame is that it's one of those franchises that Nintendo decided it's like, oh, well, we want to appeal to adults and teenagers or whatever, so we need these M rated things. So they went out and they got. Bayonetta of all franchises, like, oh, that's going to be the Nintendo adult franchise. And they go out and they get Fatal Frame 4 and 5 were both exclusive to freaking the Wii and the Wii U. And Fatal Frame 4 never even came out anywhere except Japan, I don't think. But it's like, why would you pick these kind of niche like mid to low level games instead of something more popular to gobble up and spend money on and get as exclusives. Nintendo's weird. But of course, Fatal Frame 1, 2, and 3 were on PS2. Uh, Fatal Frame 2 was on Xbox. That's where I first played it. Where is this? What am I? Mayu? Seriously, crimson butterflies are like catnip for Japanese girls, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I really like this part. Mm. Then who was hand? <laughs> then who was phone? Scary. But I, the story I want to tell about this game is that we played the original Xbox version and it sort of was weird because you could hear the, the disk drive running whenever anything scary was going to happen. So you'd be like walking around and then all of a sudden the Xbox is like burp, 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 burp. And it's like, oh well that's where the ghosts are. And it, it really sort of deflated the experience and took the scariness out of it because your Xbox was spoiling you constantly. I don't know how the other versions are are. 
And I'm playing this on an emulator, so... It's making my computer go nuts anyway, so... It's not gonna have any tells. I kind of just want to watch like an anime of this. I don't want to actually play it. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> this game actually is giving me chills. Even though I'm talking and yucking it up. The door is slightly ajar. But yeah, that thing with the hand on her shoulder and then that. Something's strange about this place. The voice acting is crazy too because it like contributes to the creepy, scary weirdness. Because these just breathy freaking voice acting. But there was a shiny over here on the table. I tried to pick it up and the girl was all like, no. There we go, a flash, a flashlight. Camera was made by Dr. Asshole. Take a photo, blah, blah, blah. Maybe Japan wouldn't have so many damn ghosts if they didn't send little girls to go find them. You ever think of that? Did her eyes just glitch out? It looked creepy. I'll have to point that out on the edit. This kind of reminds me of the anime uh, Moon Phase. Where the main character, he's like spiritually blind because his family blocked off his spiritual powers because he was too sensitive to it so he basically would have lived a life all freaked out but then later on in the show they reactivate his spiritual abilities and then he just sees ghosts and demons and monsters freaking everywhere what a scary existence that would be It's a kimono hanging on the wall, isn't it? It is. Meow. Meow. It is kimono. I'm freaking out, man. The door woman. Now she's gone. This this game better than any other horror game that I've been playing actually is scary. <laughs> Like I'm all goosebumpy. Come on, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. I did it. Man on deck. Well, that's enough of that. Let's leave. <laughs> Mio, look, there's effing ghosts. <laughs> like, you're not even surprised anymore. Huh. 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 <laughs> I'm actually scared. 
scared. This is these games are probably some of the best actual horror games. Cuz there's so many crappy horror games that rely on jump scares and not scary stuff. But this game is actually scary. Yeah, somehow I, I'm like, I probably shouldn't run. Ah! Stupid girl. We don't care. <laughs> she also became trapped here. She came into this house looking for her boyfriend. And then, where did she go? Oh god. <laughs> I, I I do. I want to watch like I'm going to go watch a let's play of this cuz it's freaking scary. I played that for longer than I expected to, actually. 35 minutes. I got into it. But this was Eric vs. 365, where I'm playing a different game every day for a year. Check out psxboxindies.com, where I write daily blogs about the games we're playing and the videos we're making. Thanks for watching!